morning you guys welcome back to another vlog it's saturday morning and i woke up at like nine o'clock and i like let myself sleep and i feel so good and just like so rested and i'm so relaxed right now like i had the best sleep ever and i'm so happy it's saturday i am just excited i'm gonna bring you guys along with me this weekend we're gonna do a little weekend in my life vlog and i'm excited so welcome back to my channel my name is mackie if you're new and let's get started just got out of the shower I <laughs> literally the scariest thing just happened to me so I was in the shower and I'm like I could hear someone yelling and I was like I don't know who it is because Mac went to go pick up his friend from the airport who lives like down the street from us and he was like I'm gonna go pick him up in his car and then drop him off they were like talking on the phone about it last night so I was like that's honestly like really nice because the last thing that I want to do when I land at the airport, especially Logan in Boston, is go to that designated area for like the Ubers because it's so out of the way and you have to like walk so far. So I was like, that's so nice of him <laughs> because like I would not want to walk all the way to the Uber place. And I knew that he had already left and I was just planning on like going and getting coffee and like starting my day and doing my thing. And then I start to hear like yelling and I like put my head out of the shower and I'm like, what is that? And <laughs> I kept hearing it and then it went away and I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna keep showering. If someone's here, the dogs will bark and whatever. So and then literally all of a sudden he like pops up in the bathroom and he's like, babe, babe. I'm like, oh my God, that scared me so bad because I thought that somebody was in the house like breaking in and it was just him yelling that his friend isn't coming home till monday and he was like oh my god like i set an alarm got up early like got ready and brought the dogs out and like fed them and everything and he's not even coming home till monday and i was like okay <laughs> so that's what happened but anyway um I'm really excited because I am going to Florida on Tuesday and I'm so excited because it's just going to be me and Jess and I can't wait to see her and we're going to go, we're going to 30A and Gals Beach, like that area and I'm so excited to be back there. It's so beautiful and I went last year for Rachel's wedding for the first time and it was like the most gorgeous place and Jess and Brent have a house there so Jess and I are going together to go stay and Emma was supposed to come, Graydon was supposed to come, but things just didn't work out. Emma has, it's um, playoffs right now for her boyfriend, so she obviously like wants to like be with him and like go to the games and be there to support, which like I completely understand, I would be the same way. And yeah, so it's just going to be Jess and I and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see her and she's in Atlanta right now with Emma because that's where he's playing. The Celtics are playing in Atlanta and I didn't know that Nashville was two hours away. So Jess and Brent just drove there for the night and they all got to hang out and it looked like so much fun and I'm so jealous, but it's okay because I'm literally gonna see her in like three days and I have a lot that I need to do before I leave. I wanna like get organized and do like spring cleaning. I feel like I've been talking about it and I like actually need to do it because I need to clean my closet out and I need to like switch over my clothes, take my winter clothes out, put my spring summer clothes in. And I feel like also it'll just make it a lot easier for me when it comes to packing my stuff for Florida. I've been using this line of skincare for like two months now and I really love it. And it's by Jan Marini. I use a serum, this one in the morning, and then I do the Hyla 3D Face Cream. It's a hyaluronic acid complex. It's just like a moisturizer. Love that. And then 
this sunscreen right here. It's like a tinted sunscreen. And also I have a benzoyl peroxide acne treatment, which I wear every single night. And then I use a benzoyl peroxide face wash in the morning. And my skin, guys. Knock on, do I even have any wood? Knock on wood. <laughs> my skin has been so good. I'm also um, working with a, I worked with an acne specialist. I'm also gonna do like another hormone test and stuff with my dietitian. And we had her on the podcast and I'm so excited for you guys to hear this episode. It was so good and it was so informative. And I'm just so excited for you guys to hear the episode. It's like our first episode of the podcast where we had a guest on that like wasn't one of our friends or like another influencer. She's like actually a registered dietitian and um, yeah, you guys will hear the episode, but I'm just so excited. I just feel like you guys are going to really like the episode and I'm excited for that. Okay, um, I want to do a little bit of makeup because oh, I brought my makeup downstairs. I wanted to do a little bit of something because I've been, I'll just show you guys. What you doing? Milo, what you doing in here? You don't feel good? I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I don't even know <laughs> if you guys can really see me. I am like trying to move my makeup into this bathroom that's like downstairs. I mentioned it in my last vlog, but I really want to make the office like my closet room and then do this bathroom as like my get ready bathroom where I can have like all my makeup all my stuff and have it be right next to my closet room office thing so we'll see how that goes but I am doing some makeup I've been obsessed with Merit because it's safe for acne prone skin and if you just have really sensitive skin like me I have been loving it. I just love that, a way, that the way that it makes my skin feel, I think the most, because I hate wearing stuff on my face and you like feel like you have makeup on. So this is a like foundation concealer stick. I have a few different shades in this because obviously I like to use one to spot conceal. I just have, um, right now I just have hyperpigmentation from previous acne like I don't have any active breakouts or anything anymore like my skin is completely clear I just have pigment so I like to use this one to cover up that color and then I go in with a lighter shade and then I'll just do a little bit of under eye just to brighten I saw this TikTok of a person in a lab taking a beauty blender and seeing how much bacteria was on it. Like, I used to love beauty blenders and I would be like, okay, I don't care about the bacteria. You guys, it was nasty. I'm like, I'm never using those again. I'm using brushes from now on and I'm like cleaning them after like every single time that I use them because it's just crazy. It was crazy. Then I'm just gonna do a little bit of brow gel. This one's a little bit tinted, so I try to like be very light with it because I feel like I already have like very, very full brows. And then just going in with some bronzer. Okay, and then for blush, I like to use two different shades. This one right here is Stockholm. It's like a petal little petal pink and then we have this one right here raspberry beret it's really pretty i'm gonna add a tiny tiny bit of mascara just to the ends of my lash to add some length but not a lot okay we're done Look who it is. <laughs> guys, I miss you so much. We miss you. I can't wait to see you guys. Are we going to this week? Yeah. Yeah.
just got home i literally went out to get coffee and i was like i'm just gonna cook when i get back to the house and then i realized we don't have any breakfast food because i used the rest of the eggs because i've been making french toast and that like uses up so many eggs so i like had nothing to eat i dropped off mac to get a massage to see he's not really feeling well today and i went to tate and i got avocado toast and it was so good and i talked to emma on facetime for a while and then just got back home and i just feel like i have so much to do around the house today and i'm actually really excited because i am excited to do spring cleaning and just like organize my closet my clothes my office i really really desperately need to do that because i'm going to florida next week and then i come home and then it's basically may and i feel like i want to get it over with now because the weather's been like really iffy like i don't know it's so weird because we'll have days where it's like really really nice out and warm and then we'll have days like today where it's just like gray and cold and i know once it gets to may like it starts to get warmer and the days are more consistently like nice so i want to like get all of my organizing done plus it's a weekend and i just kind of want to like spend the time doing that i also need to get the office set up and bring that other table upstairs we still have to do that so there's a lot to get done but oh i also stopped at the store and i picked up a bunch of like little travel things i went to cvs because i wanted to get like little mini clips for my hair and they didn't have them these like clips that i used to use i think i need to like go to walgreens or something but i got like little travel size things for my trip next week hold on you guys i need to change the battery on my camera one thing that i did want to mention because why does my camera keep zooming one thing i did want to talk to you guys about because i got these little shampoo and conditioner things and it reminded me that i started i'm like on a hair care journey right now because i feel like my hair has changed over the past few years and i cut it like really really short in 2021 so that was like honestly almost two years ago or two was it two years ago yeah two years ago i cut my hair like really short and my hair has been growing so much and it's crazy and i stopped using all like salon hair products and i like went back to the basics and i have been using this paul mitchell tea tree shampoo and conditioner which i used to use so long ago and my hair was like so thick and shiny and healthy and it wasn't dry at all and then i feel like once i started to use like all of the expensive stuff my hair started to get really weird and also i noticed in the shower like when i'm washing my hair i never ever ever dealt with this in the past like i used to think about this all the time in college and just like literally up until a few years ago when i switched what i was using for my hair i would be in the shower and like my hair wouldn't fall out it would never like clog the drain in the shower or like fall out and like be in my hands when i was washing my hair and i've noticed lately like when i go like this to like get my shampoo and conditioner out my hair like literally sheds and it'll like come out so i'm just like why is that happening and i've been taking this supplement right here nutrafol i saw somebody talk about this and i was like i need that because everything that i feel like i'm dealing with this helps like if you have any hair thinning shedding anything like that nutrafol helps with that you take four capsules a day and you have to have it after you eat food so i just ate i'm gonna take mine right now and i want to order the men's one for mac because he deals with his hair shedding also and he like has noticed his hair's not as thick so i was like telling him about how i've been taking this and he was like wait i want to try that so i'm gonna order him the men's one later and not only does it help with your hair growth also it helps with like stress and i feel like ever since i've started taking these i sleep better like i sleep so deeply and they are dermatologist approved and there's just really amazing ingredients like ashwagandha hyaluronic acid marine collagen peptides like there's so many benefits and you really have to be consistent with taking them i've only been taking them for a few weeks i'm like really trying to grow my hair i really want to have like longer hair again for a little while so i obviously will keep you guys updated with the results after i've been taking it for like 
three months or so and i got a code for you guys if you want to order nutrafol you can use the link at the top of my description and it gets you money off so 50 dollars off your first three months and i think 106 off of the six month subscription so you end up saving so much money and i like wanted to be able to get you guys some sort of discount to be able to get money off so you can save if you want to try out the products also but i'm literally gonna go and order <laughs> the men's one using my code so matt can be able to take them also i have like all of my boxes right here too this is going to be for like my second month my third month and then i'm like halfway through my first month somebody went to the beach and is so sandy mama gonna give you a little rinse we don't need to do a big shampoo, just a rinse, <laughs> okay? Are you okay with that? I think I wanna do one of those day in the life vlogs on TikTok where you use like the little funny voice and you do like a day in the life of your dog <laughs> and do a voiceover. I think Milo needs one of those. office space that I have so we have this like random situation going on I just need to like figure out what I even want to do with this room because I mentioned making it into a closet room which I think would be really cool to have like all my clothes right here and do like shelves because I know that you can do it like get Ikea or container store I think I think I've seen like an Ikea one and it's like a white like wardrobe thing and then there's a closet right here where I could do like my bags, my shoes, accessories, like there's drawers and shelves and stuff so I could do that but I don't know or I could just have this closet right here be for like work like have like a storage area because I do get like a lot of stuff in the mail but anyway this is what i'm working with right now just like the space i have obviously this table right here which i have my computer and just like a work area and i have a clothing rack which has a bunch of clothes from my revolve collection and then a few pieces that I have gotten in the mail recently. I just like hang everything right here. So I have like bikinis, which I'm gonna bring with me to Florida next week. I just have some spring items that I'm gonna bring as well. And I just like to be able to see like all of my new stuff that comes in hanging before I like put it away into my closet. Also, I've been meaning to do like a styling video. So I just feel like this room would be perfect for that if I made it into like an office slash styling room. You know what I mean? Also, I got this candle from Glossier and it smells so good. I'm gonna like this. But I just feel like it'd be cool to have like a little area where I could come film, work, and do all of that. But I just don't know if it would be like a lot because I'm only renting and I haven't even renewed my lease or anything, so I don't even know like what <laughs> to do. Cause I'm like, if I put all this effort into like building the Ikea things and then I end up like say the owners, I don't know if I, they don't renew my lease, what would I do? But like, I, I don't want to like move and go anywhere else. So that's also the other thing. I don't know, <laughs> so there's like a lot. I guess you could say that's like a lot of factors to go into it. I honestly think I'm just gonna like do it and like once I leave this house, I can just like figure it out then. But I have this big box over here in the corner of bathing suits. Like it's actually insane. I have all my bathing suits in here, which I need to go through because this box, I wanna like obviously clean out this little corner. And yeah, so we're gonna do this right now.
kind of started a pile of stuff that I'm going to get rid of like swimwear that still has the tags on but doesn't like fit me right so I know I'm never going to wear it so I don't need to like hold on to it and then I have a few other things like dresses and just like cover-ups that I have had for a while that I like no longer reach for so I'm just going to get rid of those also and I have a Poshmark so I can leave a link to my Poshmark down below and also it's like in my Hoobi link in the bio of like my Instagram and my YouTube videos so you can always find my Poshmark there, but I'm going to be doing a huge closet clean out. So if you're interested in anything, always like make an offer on my Poshmark because I will accept like any offer you make on things. But also you guys look at all of my bathing suits. Like I just went and I organized and like paired them together. This is insane <laughs> how many bathing suits I have. Like I have accumulated these over the past few years and i just got a few new ones recently like these ones right here from frankie's and then i got a colt gaia one which they gifted me these ones lately but i'm just like going on a trip obviously next week and um, the last thing i need is to be buying new clothes or new bathing suits because i truly have so much stuff and i feel like I don't know about you guys, but for me, like right before a trip, I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna wear? And I like look on the internet and I'm just like looking for like new clothes, bathing suits, stuff like that. When really there's stuff in my closet that like I haven't even ever worn before. So I did no shopping for this trip and I'm actually very proud of myself for that because usually when I have gone away in the past, I have like got a whole new wardrobe just for this one trip. And I like plan it in my head and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear this and I want to have like this vibe But not for this one. I'm literally just bringing Obviously stuff that I have I have so much Stuff and I just can't believe how many bathing suits I have So I don't know where I'm gonna put these right now. I don't have like a drawer or a spot to put them I'm gonna have to like make room somewhere or like get a bucket for my closet but it feels good to have that whole entire bucket emptied because it's literally been sitting in this room since I moved in. Okay, I'm taking a break because I need to make a snack. So I literally just have like random <laughs> things that I found in my fridge. And we are going to make a snack plate and see what we can come up with. <laughs> cucumber mary's crackers blue cheese stuffed olives and i did a ithaca hummus it's the everything one so it has like different seasonings i tried a little bit of it i don't know if i love it but it's all i had <laughs> i'm gonna make mac a tea right now because he's not feeling good i have like so many of these little wellness teas i have throat coat and what's this one right here immune zoom Supports immune function. I think I'm going to make him this one right here. I feel like this would be really good. But I love traditional medicinals. It's my favorite tea brand. And then I also really like organic India. So I have like lemon, ginger, green tea, nighttime tea. I have like so many. And also lately I've been really liking this one right here. The nighty night. I love that one. I have like a calming one with lavender and mint. And then I have this detox one which is dandelion and then a spearmint but i don't have enough room i have like so many other teas i just don't have enough room in my little container for them to all fit i might have to like order another one but i just got this off of amazon i've had it forever but it's just like a little acrylic container
just took a shower and I washed off all my makeup, took a bath, and chilled. And then I got cozy because we're gonna go pick up dinner in a minute. And um, I'm excited because we ordered like my favorite thing <laughs> that I've been eating lately. Like I, I ate it, I think once last week, once the week before, but it's been like my go-to. So I'm very, very excited. My body is like so moisturized right now. After I got out of the shower, like I've been really good about lathering on the moisturizer because i feel like i get lazy and i don't do it and then my skin's like dry and feels so gross so <laughs> i literally just put this all over my body josie moran whipped argan oil ultra hydrating body butter i like really love how it comes in like a tub like this because you just like scoop it out and it blends really nicely on your skin and just like absorbs nicely it isn't it doesn't give you like that sticky like weird feeling it just makes you feel like super moisturized it makes you feel really good i was texting with my friend kaylee <laughs> earlier and i was like telling her about how i'm cleaning out my closet and just like i needed to put my winter stuff away because it was like scaring me and she did hers yesterday and we were talking about how we were like we don't care how cold it gets because like the weather here is insane we were like we're not wearing uggs we're not wearing slippers we're not wearing especially puffer jackets even though i literally wore mine like two days ago we got pho for dinner i'm really excited because i've been obsessed with this lately and i'm just warming up the broth right now because i get really scared because of like the raw meat that if we just pour it on top like it's not gonna cook it I don't know it freaks me out but I love how they put like the cilantro green onion onion noodles and then they give you the side which has like basil bean sprouts hoisin sauce sriracha like everything you need and it makes it taste so good also <laughs> these are the only bowls that we have so we're using the big mixing bowls I looked on Amazon because I was like I want to buy like actual bowls and the spoons and stuff because I have been obsessed with this and have been getting it a lot but I forgot so this is what we're using I'm doing this little basil trick that I learned so if you take like all the basil leaves and you put them from biggest to smallest like inside of each other like this see yeah and then you roll them in to like a little <clears throat> thing like this yeah and then you cut off the stem. You can cut it like this, and it cuts your basil into like even strips. Wow. Yeah, and then it's easy, so you can like sprinkle it on top. Look. Mm. I literally almost bought like a big thing of the sauce when I was at Whole Foods the other day. What type of sauce is it again? Poison. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. You should Google it. Do you think I'm sick or do you think it's allergies? You have body aches? A little bit. Yeah, you're sick. I don't know, though. I feel like allergies is like evolving sometimes I like, can't tell I don't really think that it's that much really yum good you know Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. It's pouring rain. Oh, right now. <laughs> and literally one of the last things 
that I want to do is walk these dogs, but Mac is sick. So I have to go out there this morning. But just first things first, I need to. Good morning! I need to open up the shades, wake the house up for the day. Good morning, Max. You guys have no idea how tired I was because I literally just woke up <laughs> like my eyes did not open at all didn't reach right for my phone anything until like 11 45 today I don't know what it was I was just so tired and I could like hear the rain and I took like two of these insomnitol like sleeping things that my dietitian told me to get and i've been taking them for a while and they i usually i take one but i took two and i was like out and i slept so good but last night i was like falling asleep while we were watching tv we were watching this like new documentary on netflix it's like a documentary about the boston marathon and so we were watching that and I was like, we were on episode two, I couldn't even keep my eyes open. I was like so tired. I was so tired last night. But, what is that? I always forget that I have these boots. And I'm gonna wear them out right now. I'm like, I always get so scared that there's gonna be like a spider in my boot. I don't know why. But I love my hunter boots though. They're so, I just think that they're really cute. Honestly, if I went to Coachella or Stagecoach this year, I probably would have worn hunter boots with like, maybe not my red ones, but like a darker color with like a cute pair of like really short. There's these Lamarck leather shorts and like a tank top or like a little cute like vest with like a belt and I don't know I just want to wear them because it gets so <gasps> you guys it's boring because it gets so like um dusty when you're at these festivals but I didn't go so <laughs> anyway you guys I like wish you could see the ring right now it is absolutely insane you guys are gonna come back and you guys are gonna be so you're going to be soaking wet. Okay. I'm going to go. We're going to go out here. And wish me luck, you guys, because it's like literally pouring. Like, I, I wish I could show you. I'm going to go out. Are you sure? It's raining a lot. <laughs> Still, <laughs> so rainy, guys. It's been like the most rainy weekend so far. I'm sitting in the car waiting for Mac because he's going in to get our chate order. Huh? Look how many my coffee is. So I don't know. I thought you want it. I just got a cappuccino. Okay, it is time to finally clean out my closet. I've been wanting to do this for weeks, so we are going to do it. And I'm honestly going to look and get rid of things that... I feel like there's some things that I'm like even looking at right now that I'm like, okay, I'm going to wear that eventually, but like, no. I'm never going to wear it. I need to get rid of it. So I'm going to go through and make donation piles and a Poshmark pile. But I'm excited because I just have like an overflowing amount of stuff. And I want to be able to take down all of my summer stuff and start going through that as well. And start transitioning my closet. Okay, I have a little update for you guys. I brought up all my shoes from downstairs, like my sneakers. And I just put them right here on the ground because I folded all my jeans and organize them right here 
and then up here we just have like pants i have like white pants <laughs> parachute pants stuff like that and then all my summer clothes are still up there which i still have to go through those but this is what the closet's looking like so far. I have like all these extra hangers right here. I know a majority of my summer clothes are dresses, so I can hang them in this spot. I have like a lot of space over there and then still have a lot of tops. Top and bottom are both tops, but everything's looking pretty good so far. I'm just kind of nervous about how much stuff <laughs> I have in here. Like I literally don't even know what's in there and um, yeah <laughs> okay my closet you guys it looks so good this took me so long but i unpacked all the summer clothes put away all the winter clothes put together a huge box of stuff that i'm gonna be getting rid of and everything just looks so good i'm so excited so we have jeans right here my camera's telling me that it's about to die so i'm gonna try to be quick we have all like just pants right here Cargo pants, parachute pants, stuff like that. Dresses right here, which makes me so excited for summer. We have some heels, boots at the top. All my tops are right here. Sweatshirts, jackets, and then these are just like basic tops. Shorts, skirts, shoes right here. And sneakers right here at the bottom. These are like my go-to sneakers that I wear all the time. So I just put them right here obviously because I don't have any more room on these shelves so that is my closet organization update oh uh, hi guys wait. I'm moving in where's my camera like that guys I just took the best shower ever put on comfy clothes I like exfoliated my body I shaved well shaved like you know when your hair like from laser your hair's like not it doesn't grow back fully, but it's like really like it's like very thin and fuzzy. Yeah. Milo. So Maybe. that's what mine was like on my legs. So I just shaved, exfoliated, cleaned my face, washed my hair, did the whole thing, and I'm so clean and I feel so good and everything's organized finally. I did like so much organizing and um cleaning up my closet. What are these? Rolls. Oh, I took them. Do you think they are bad if they were in the fridge? Yeah, they are bad. Everything that's in your fridge is definitely I bad. I threw everything away, but I just didn't know if those were bad because I was going to make those for Peyton for when he gets home. They're definitely bad. But, so okay. okay. It's about that Where's Mark? He's sick. Sick? Yeah. Mark. He has like a fever. Oh, no. But yeah, he's like fever. Um... Chills. Emma's here because <laughs> her and Peyton have to stay over for the next like how many days? Four days? Those are whole Until Wednesday. Buildings. Power is out. Not like this our apartment, the whole building. I can't believe that. People when I showed up, people were leaving. Like, Wait, so when did it come out? When did it go out? I guess today. Oh. Today or yesterday. Or it's been out for two days. That's so weird. Wait. Today, so it went out today. That's crazy that like people literally had soup. They were probably going to hotels. Mm hmm. Crazy. Yeah. Well, now I have guests. I know. I'm well, yeah, excited. I, got my mm -hmm. I ordered. Okay, so you know how you wanted chicken parm and I wanted chicken parm too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And they're so big. Can we split it? And I also got bolognese. I do you don't want bolognese? any bolognese, but sure. Well, I'll have like this much of it. Okay, because I just, bolognese makes me actually like... Sick? Yeah. I just like wanted chicken parm, but I didn't want the whole thing. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, I would have ordered something else no, so we could have no, shared. No. I'll have a bite of it though. Okay. Here. Yeah. And then that pasta is yours because it has nothing... I mean, it's just red sauce. No, that's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm so hungry for food, like real food. What do you mean? Because I was so excited. Ready? Listen to this. So I'm so excited today. Yeah. To go to the airport and get Chick Fil A, right? Oh my God! It's Sunday. It's fucking Sunday. Show up to the airport. And it's closed. Yeah. So guess what I did? I went to the lounge and guess what? They had bum food. Nothing was good. Bum? 
nothing was good. Oh my god, that makes me sad because I'm gonna be at that lounge. So I only got fried rice because I was so hungry, so hungry. <gasps> and then I like went down to the snack thing and no snacks sounded good. So I got popcorn. You know how popcorn popcorn makes me more hungry after I eat it. Yeah, me too. But it's I liked it. It was the it was the one that was um, lesser evil, which I love. Lesser evil popcorn. And so then I was really disappointed. Shit. So yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Ending the night off with some tea. We have a little immunity one for Mac and then me and I are gonna have lemon ginger. We're just making some right now. I want to try some of this cake though. This cake is so good. I know. I'm in the sauna and I am going to start winding down and getting ready to go to bed because I have a busy day tomorrow. I'm going to be vlogging all week. I'm going to vlog tomorrow and then Tuesday I'm vlogging and then I go to Florida Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I'm gonna be vlogging the whole trip, maybe doing more than one vlog, but I'm very excited to go. And I'm just excited for next week and just like, I don't know, everything that's coming up, but I'm taking some magnesium, which I need water. And I'm gonna go to bed. Well, I'm gonna edit this video and I have another video to edit also before I can like go to sleep plus it's like still early I think it's only like nine o'clock but anyway <sighs> taking oh my god it's so gross I like cannot take vitamins with tea that was the grossest thing I think I've ever done I just tried to take my vitamins with tea and you know how you're supposed to only like sip tea I like couldn't take them Okay, well, you guys, I'm going to go to bed, edit, and all of that, but I love you guys so much, and I hope that you enjoyed this vlog, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and all of my social media. I will have it all linked down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!